Hello everybody and welcome to Storming Coasters. Today I will be revealing a Paul's Chariot, a B&M Hypercoaster, located at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I hope you enjoy. Starting off with some of the statistics of the ride, Apollo's Chariot is only 170 feet tall, but the drop is 200 feet tall, so that's how it's classified as a true hyper. It speeds as fast as 73 miles an hour at its top speed. It is 4,882 feet long and is capable of sending out 1,750 riders per Next, we are going to talk about some of the ride details. The ride is quite smooth, though I felt a small rattle the whole way through. I only rode in the back, back seat once, so I cannot tell you which seat I prefer. The ride is extremely pretty against the skyline, with the purple track and yellow supports. The ride has eight cars, and when I went, they were running two trains. The ride is capable of running three. If there is a downside to the ride, it is that I only got three very, very weak pops of floater airtime. Even the airtime of Wild Mouse at Beachman Park was strong. When you fasten yourself on the ride, you will ascend up your 170 foot tall lift hill, and following that lift hill, you will roll down your pre drop. Following the pre drop, you will roll down your 60 foot five degree drop so it's not too intense for the average person the f following that drop you'll have an airtime hill this was one of three airtime moments that i got on the ride you will then go through a tunnel i was not able to see the tunnel because i only got one night ride but it might be a great head chopper for some daytime riders you then travel up into a trimmed airtime hill. The trims slow you down a noticeable amount. You will, you will then experience the eggshell helix, and it's not really that intense to me, though some have said that they grayed out on it. After the eggshell, eggshell helix, you will travel into the ride's mid-course brick run, you then travel into four more airtime hills, the second one being trimmed, and just like that, you've hit the brake run. And it's not a bad layout, but there's nothing outstanding about it. Like I said earlier, it doesn't really deliver any airtime. Would I recommend riding Apollo's Chariot while you're at the park? Absolutely. Is it my favorite hyper coaster? Yes. Is it my favorite roller coaster of all time? No. For Apollo's Chariot's final score, it will receive a 6 out of 10, which would make it better if the trims weren't there and the hills gave stronger floaters. Being in hypers aren't that fun for me. I got stapled on Diamondback at King's Island, while Goliath and Apollo's Chariot both delivered little to no forces or airtime. Well, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below your thoughts on Apollo's Chariot at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Have a fantastic day.